Let's play math soccer. And can you find Mr. Pablo in this picture? All right. All right. So today we're making soccer math. You need a piece of paper, a ruler, or a book that you can use the straight edge on, and a pencil. Draw the two goals first. Your goals are 0 and 21. You'll understand that later. Draw two lines, one in front of each goal, and then one line down the middle for the center line. Okay. Now you have to make a four by five grid. That's four columns, five rows, or five rows, four columns. So first I'm going to do the rows because I need five of them. So, you know, you might want to measure it out and try to figure out one, two, three. Wow, I made this big. Four, five, and then again, four columns. Doesn't matter how big they are, it's not gonna change anything. Pause. So I put I put all my numbers in from one to 20, because again, we started at zero and went to 21. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So the numbers go down, they go down the columns. If you look across the rows, you can notice one, six, 11, 16, you're adding by five. One plus five is six, six plus five is 11, 11 plus five is 16. Lots of math here. You also, you need a little piece of paper that you make the ball. And the ball, you determine who's starting. If you're going this way, it's addition. If you're going this way, it's subtraction. Just like normal on a normal number line. You start and you put the ball on 8 if this side gets the ball first, and 13 if that side gets the ball first. Now, you roll. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 6, 15. I've taken two turns. 15 plus 3, 18. Three turns. I need, and you have to get exactly 21. 18 plus 4, nope, that's four turns. 18 plus 2, 20, no. Turnover! Other team's ball. Now you're going in subtraction. Okay, so 20 minus 1, 19. I've taken one turn. 19 minus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 19 minus 5 is 14. That's two turns. 14 minus 1, 13. Three turns. 13 minus 6 is 7, 4 turns. I can't score on this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 7 minus 5 is 2. Turnover. Next team goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It took Sebastian and I several turns to get one, but that's how it works in soccer. So it's either the addition scoring, so you can put down the addition, or the subtraction. Again, if you go one way, you're adding. If you go the other way, you're subtracting. Good luck. So this is, this is my recommendation for your setup for soccer math. It's important you have your two goals, your board of 20, you have a die, a pencil, and I put a plus and minus up here to remember that if I'm coming from this side, I'm adding. If I'm coming from this side, I'm subtracting. And here's if you want to play it with two people. Hey, I get to play with Sebastian. All right, Sebastian's going to go first. He starts on the number eight. He is on the adding side, so eight plus four. So he goes up to 12. That was your first turn. Plus two. 14. 12 plus two. He's still on the adding side. One. 14 plus five. five that was your third turn. You got two turns to roll a two. Oh, he scores on the first time. Amazing. Oh. So it goes gold. All right. So he gets a point. He puts a point under the plus side. And I come back and start on the number 13. All right, and I go 6, 13 minus 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 13 minus 6 is 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So that was my, I get two turns to roll a 2, 2. Oh, uh, 1, so I got to roll another 1. Ah, oh, no goal. So now Sebastian takes over. He takes over at the 1. And he starts rolling again. One plus two is three. Three plus one is four. And you can play for as long or as little time as you want. Wait, so I Good luck.